So if you want to quickly calculate the charge of an amino acid or a polypeptide, here's an intuogram that you can use. Start off by drawing a straight line across the board like so, and draw a little dash representing the pKa of a given side group. So let's, say, so let's take 6, uh, in other words, the R group of histidine. And then I want you to draw a red line or any, any line that goes down straight the middle, okay? And what you have to understand is anytime the pH is on the left, anytime the pH is on the left of the red line, then you're going to be in the HA form. And anytime the pH is on the right of the red line, you're going to be in the A minus form. And what that means, this just means it's protonated, the protonated form. And this means the unprotonated form. So it doesn't mean that it has to be negatively charged or it has to be neutral. Sometimes the protonated form is positive, such as when you protonate an amine group, and sometimes the unprotonated form is neutral. Okay? So, uh, for example, in histidine, okay, the unprotonated form is neutral. So, <coughs> excuse me. So let's go and see how that works. So let me just draw, let's do it again. Draw a line, here's your six, all right? <laughs> here's your red line. Now, this time I'm gonna draw the actual histidine R group, okay? So the R group is gonna, uh, just, let's just draw the whole thing. H, okay, NH3 plus COO minus CH2, all right? And then this is the part that trips people out. So you have the N, C, N, C. It's, a, it's an alternation, okay? And you have to know which ones are double bonded <clears throat> and which ones are single bonded. Like so. Okay. Now, as I said, remember on the left side, of the, on the red line, you're going to have, whenever the pH is lower than 6, in other words, it's going to be in the HA form. So in this case, the HA form is going to be, see, uh, the, the basic nitrogen, which is right there, is going to be protonated. So I'm going to do, I'm going to put the proton in green. So it's going to be protonated. See, this lone pair is going to grab this H, and it's going to be plus. So that's the HA form. That's what I mean by the HA form. All right, and then the A minus form. Okay, let me just draw this real quick. And you should know how to draw histidine because professors love histidine. And so does your body too. Your body loves histidine because the R group is at near uh, your body's pH, okay? So, which means it's the buffering point. So, that means the right side is going to be the, uh, okay, I'm missing a proton here, sorry. The right side has to be in the A minus form, right? So then, this is the A minus form. This is, that's the basic nitrogen. It is the A minus form, meaning that it's the, uh, it's the form that doesn't have the proton. And it doesn't mean, just because I say it's the A minus form, it doesn't mean it's negatively charged. It just means it's the one that doesn't have the hydrogen. So, so since um, you have five protons in the valence shell of this, no, sorry, five electrons in the valence, valence shell of the nitrogen, it's going to be protonated, I mean deprotonated and neutral, all right? So therefore, anytime your pH is above six, it's going to be, um, in this form, or neutral charge. And anytime the pH is below here, it's going to be plus one charge, all right? So now um, let me show you another trick you could use. So let's say you have a pool of histidines, okay? So you have a cup here, and it's full of, it's full of a bunch of histidines in there, okay? And that, and we want to know what percentage of the histidines are protonated or deprotonated at a given pH? In this case, just do the same thing. You have six here, because that's the R group, okay? And um, we're ignoring the NH3 and the COO group, okay, for now. And uh, here's, your, here's your HA form. I'm not going to draw the whole thing out right now, but basically, here's a trick. I think I showed, I think I made a video already about this, but um, I'm going to put these here. 
So four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right. So at at when when you're one away, when you're one away from the pKa, which is six, you're plus or minus one away. You're either going to be, um, it's it's going to be a ninety percent to to ten percent ratio. Okay, always. And then when you're two away from from the pKa. It's going to be a 99% to 1% ratio always, all right? So what if I asked you, if I asked you what percent of histidine is protonated at pH of 4, okay? So I'm going to say what percent is in the HA, HA at pH of 4. So let's just do it. At pH of four, it's gonna it's gonna be it's below it's on the left side of the of the red line, right? Which means it's gonna be more in the HA form, which means <coughs> it's gonna be ninety nine percent in the HA form, all right? When it gets pH of five, it's still on the left side of the left of the red line, right? So therefore, it's gonna be ninety percent of it's gonna be ninety percent in the HA form. So ninety percent of these little molecules are in the HA form. When it's on the six. It, that's at the pKa. pH equals pKa, and you go back to Henderson Hasselbach, it's 50 50, right? So it's just 50%. And then once you get to 7, it's just 90 minus 100. So 10% is in the HA form because they're mostly going to be in the A minus form because it's on the right side of the line, right? And meanwhile, you guessed it, eight, at pH of 8, it's going to be 1%, which is just 100 minus 99, right? 100 minus 99 right there. So because. Most of it's going to be in the A minus form, not the HA form. But I asked you for the HA form, okay? So what if I asked you instead for the A minus form? Well, it's just going to be 99%, 90%, 50%, 10%, uh, and 1% at these, at these given pHs here, okay? So see how powerful this line is? Just asking yourself what form is it, HA or A minus form? at a given pH. Okay, now it gets even more cool. So let's say I gave you a polypeptide, right? So let's say you have, uh, all right, I'm just gonna draw three circles. Let's say you have a tripeptide. And this time we're gonna consider, we're gonna consider the, the ends here, NH3 plus. So in other words, you have five ionizable groups like so. And I'm just going to make up these pKa's, okay, because I, I don't have all of them memorized right now, but I'm just going to say that the pKa of this R group is 6 because it's histidine and I like histidine, and this one is 9, and this one is, say, 10, okay? And we know that the pKa of COOH, uh, this, this acid group here is like 1.8, and this is about 9 here, um, okay? So let's just say it's 9, and uh, I, don't, I don't want these two to be the same, so let's just say that this one is 4, okay? So what you want to do is, once again, what if I asked you, what's the pH of the whole molecule? Sorry, what's the charge of the whole molecule at a given pH? So all you have to do is draw that line again. So draw the line, and this time, I want you to put all, all the pKs on there. So starting with the small, so you have, you have 1.8, right? Then you have 4, then you have 6 then you have 9, then you have 10, right? So then you have a bunch of red lines, like this. And each of them represent the R groups, okay? So, so below pH of 1.8, okay, uh, you have to find what, you have to find what, what this guy looks like when he's below, on the left side of this red line, okay? As opposed to on the right side of this red line, okay? And you could do it for each one of these lines, like so. And I don't like to have long videos, so I'm gonna probably do that in a different one, but maybe you get what I'm talking about already, all right? Um, yeah, let me, let me just do this, see? See, each of these red lines represents one of the R groups, and you're gonna have different charges. Ultimately, what's gonna happen, and I know this is really sloppy, sorry, I just don't have time to make perfect videos anymore, okay? is you're gonna end up with, if you have your volume of NaOH, and you have your pH on the top, right? So you end up you end up with something like this, right? And each of the flat parts are one of your pKa's, 
like like so. What did I say? Two, four, eight, ten. I forgot what I said, okay? So basically put the PKAs that I put in the previous page there. And what happens is you have to find the charge, you have to find the charge of um, that the whole molecule is below pH of two. Let's say that it's just, I'm gonna make up a number, okay? A. If this is A, the next one above is gonna be A minus one. And then the next one above is gonna be A minus two. And then everything above eight is gonna be A minus three, all right? And one of these A minus somethings is gonna be zero. Let's say that the A minus two equals zero here. That means that if you take these two pHs, pKa's, eight and four, and you average them, then you, you average them, you're gonna end up with your pI, right? So in other words, if you find this number, everything is increasingly one less as you go up. And then you find your, you get the one where it's zero, you find the two borders, eight and four, you average them, and you end up with your PI, okay? Cool.